Hi, it's Victor from Segpoint with a portable penetrator and today we are doing Wi-Fi WPS recovery and this is the Wi-Fi protected setup. As we can see here, I have my penetrator, I'm now logging into the interface and I'm going to the wireless and start wireless audit. We can see here I have my Wi-Fi antenna right here and you can see it's connected on the USB and it is blinking now since it is in scanning mode. I have this large antenna screwed on to get maximum scanning coverage. So now we can see the blinking is full power and it is scanning and updating every 30 seconds for new networks. We can see here in the list I have many networks. We see the vendors of the target routers we see how many users are connected, we see the network name, the type of encryption that is being used. The new WPS vulnerability allows to do brute force of the WPS if it is enabled on the router and normally you would have 100 million entries to brute force but due to a vulnerability this can be roughly about 11,000. And this can be done in a few days or sometimes in a few hours depending on the target router. There is an updated list of all the routers vulnerable and there are more than a hundred different router models. Typically the vendors that are vulnerable include Sixel, D-Link, Netgear and many popular brands. So in this tag here I am going in the list right here and I'm scrolling down clicking stop, scan and select the network and remember, when you're doing Wi-Fi recovery, always recover the password on your own network or only recover on a customer network if you have the permission to do it. So uh, I have my own network right here. We can see it's a D-Link router. I'm clicking the MAC address and um, here I can choose the technique. Also, if WPS is not enabled on the target router, you can still use the Wi-Fi bomb where you get the handshake and doing the brute force. So now we select the WPS and we click the OK. And what will uh, happen now is we can click here see the status. It is now waiting to authenticate to the target system and to do the WPS brute forcing. Once the brute forcing starts you will see a percentage bar and sometimes uh, some router models, they will have a, a, a timeout blocking. So that means if you are connecting too rapidly to the router when you're doing the boot forcing, it will simply block you or it will block you for a certain time. That could be like 30 minutes or a few hours. So when we're doing the crack, it has a timeout. So it will do it in a human way. So it looks like human behavior and it's not being blocked. And uh, now we just have to wait and we see already the cracker is running, it's 2.10% uh, and we can go and, and click uh, the refresh here and now it's 2.13% and you see it's going. And, and you can notice here now with the Wi-Fi antenna, now that it is doing the brute forcing, if you saw the blinking light before and you see it now, it's like double as fast right now. So you can see it's going very, very rapidly. And uh, again, when you're cracking a network, there are several factors. How strong the signal power is, where's the router, where's your Wi-Fi antenna, are you in a, in a strong building with very thick walls, concrete walls, for example. So good things to do is be close to a window, be close to uh, uh, open areas where you can see a lot of networks. And uh, I just click back now. We can see now 2.31%. So I, I think this one here can be possibly, that could be anywhere from a few hours to more than 10 hours. And again, it depends on the system strings. Uh, obviously this one here is a local network, so it's very close to uh, my computer and the cracking goes very fast. And we can see one I cracked earlier. We see right here the password cracker completed and the WPA2 key was hard to and crack with a capital and 2000 letters. And once it cracks the code, 
it will show it right here in the interface. And uh, to get the new WPS cracking, you need the version 12.5 firmware. And all you do is you go to advanced menu, if you don't have the 12.5, and uh, you go to update, force firmware update, and then you just upgrade. If you need any help, you need to learn how to do the cracking, you, you need to help to uh, upgrade the firmware, you just come on our live chat or you email our support and we'll get back to you as fast as possible and help you out. So be sure to upgrade to the new 12.5 firmware and have a nice day. Bye.